नमस्कार आय एम चिन्मय खड़के फ्रॉम इंडिया मेटेलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन वीडियो हियर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वेदर ऑकर्ड ओवर लास्ट वीक एंड ऑल्सो द एक्सपेक्टेड वेदर इन नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स so if we look at the synoptic features that were observed over the last week then there was a wd uh, including a cyclonic circulation over north haryana and adjoining northwest up apart from that there were two uh, western disturbances that passed over northern indian region but they were feeble western disturbances and hence they did not cause much weather apart from that there was a a uh, cyclonic circulation over bangladesh and a remnant of the earlier low pressure system which became less mark over the south chatisgarh and neighborhood another important weather feature that was observed throughout last week was the cyclonic circulation in low tropospheric levels over the south arabian sea this started over southeast arabian sea and adjoining uh, region and then it shifted to westward and it currently lies over the southwest arabian sea if we look at the rainfall that occurred over last week then the rainfall was mostly confined to the eastern india as well as parts of southern peninsular region here you can see most of the eastern uh, indian subdivisions as well as northeastern states uh and some of the subdivisions in southern peninsula received rainfall during past week if we have to look at the heavy rainfall then on the 7th of december the gangetic west bengal as well as coastal andhra pradesh received heavy rainfall on 8th of december this rayal seema tamil nadu kerala as well as northeastern states received heavy rainfall and on 9th as well as 10th of december the states so the southern states of tamil nadu as well as kerala received heavy rainfall on this two day if we look at the rainfall for the entire week subdivision wise then as you can see here this blue color which represents large excess rainfall is mostly covering the eastern as well as northeastern states and some couple of subdivisions in the southern peninsular region if we look at the northwestern india then there was uh, not much rainfall received during this last week and hence if we look at the table here which gives the rainfall uh, in the homogeneous regions then we can see that cumulative rainfall for the last week over this uh, east and northeast india it has a departure of about 500% positive that is it received very large excess rainfall apart from that the central indian indian region received about 317 dig, uh, percent departure and followed by the northwest and south peninsula both of which homogeneous regions had negative departures that means they received less than expected rainfall in the last week now if we look at the cumulative rainfall for the entire season that is from 1st of october to the 13th of december then you can see the most of the subdivisions have green or blue colors that means they had normal to excess rainfall but the subdivisions which are colored colored red had deficient rainfall uh, in this particular season if we look at the season as a whole then around 75% of the country has received normal to excess rainfall and only 25 or around 27% of the country has received deficient or large deficient rainfall if we look at the exact figures the cumulative rainfall for the entire subdivision the east and northeast india as well as the northwest india has large excess that is plus 15% and plus 32% of the departures during this season the central india and the south peninsula has around minus 20% and minus 15% departures for this entire season if we look at the country as a whole then the country 
had minus 5% departure of rainfall that belongs to the normal rainfall category. As on today, if we see currently only one weather system is there in the Indian region that is a cyclonic circulation over southwest Arabian Sea adjoining equatorial Indian Ocean. Apart from that, we are expecting a feeble western disturbance which will affect the northwestern Himalayan region from 16th of December. This being a feeble western disturbance, we are not expecting that it will affect the entire North India. It will be confined mostly to the, to the Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Muzaffarabad and Gilgit-Baltistan region. If we look at the weather warnings for next 5 days, then in the early morning of tomorrow that is 15th we are expecting dense we are expecting dense fog over Punjab and Haryana subdivisions in the next four days most of the country except the southern states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala there are no weather warnings on the 15th of December the, the uh, Tamil Nadu is expected to have thunderstorms which will continue for next three days over Tamil Nadu on 16th and 17th of December, we are expecting heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu as well as Kerala on the second day that is 17th of December. On 18th, 18th of December, we are expecting heavy rainfall over Kerala and adjoining parts of Lakshadweep Islands. If we look at the forecast for next two weeks, then the rainfall will be mostly confined to the southern states of Tamil Nadu as well as Kerala where we are expecting isolated to scattered rainfall and light to moderate rainfall over most of these parts. We are expecting heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu on 16th and 17th and over Kerala on 17th of December. Because of the WD that we are expecting a western disturbance feeble western disturbance that we are expecting on 16th we are also expecting rainfall snowfall over Jammu and Kashmir Ladakh Gilgit Baltistan Muzaffarabad on 16th and 17th of December apart from that no significant rainfall is likely over remaining parts of the country if we look at week 2 then no active western disturbance we are expecting that will affect in the week 2 we are expecting light to moderate scattered to fairly widespread rainfall over southern peninsula over week 2. So again for week 2 the rainfall will be confined to the southern states in which we are expecting isolated heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu and Kerala during some of the days of the week. Overall rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over all the region except northwest India where it is likely to be below normal. If we look at the temperature forecast, as on today, the minimum temperatures are in the range of 5 to 10 degrees over most parts of the Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, North Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. These areas, these areas are near normal or above normal over most parts of the country except parts of Western Himalayan region, Haryana, Chandigarh, West UP, where these are below normal by 2 to 3 degrees. No significant change in minimum temperatures are expected over northern parts of the country during this part of the week. If we look at the week 2, then the minimum temperatures are likely to be normal or below normal by 1 or 2 degree over most parts of the country except for the parts of western Himalayan region as well as northeastern states and some parts of southern peninsula where these are likely to be above normal by 1 to 3 degree centigrade. If we look at the cyclogenesis, then there is no probability of cyclogenesis throughout these two weeks. However, we are expecting there is a likelihood of a cyclonic circulation or low pressure area over South Bay of Bengal during first half of the week one. You can make use of our Android and iOS app to keep yourself updated about the weather uh, forecasts and you can follow us using our IMD website as well as our Twitter, Instagram and YouTube handles. This is all from my side today. Thank you. Jai Hind.